10 tips the LLB tutorial does not tell you. Make sure to play how to play one and two. This video will scratch some of the stuff taught there, so having some previous knowledge may help with understanding. Number one, matchmaking basics. Not necessarily tied to the tutorial, I think it's still important to mention that Lethal League Blaze is something that is called a Discord fighter. That means you will usually have tough luck trying to find matches in ranked, and will instead have to resort pinging the LFG, or looking for game, in the community discord. Matchmaking is fairly active there, and nothing stops you from trying your luck in ranked while waiting for someone to respond. If you really want to play ranked though, the peak time for it is usually around 11pm UTC. It's especially busy on the weekend, but it's always recommended to try matchmaking in the discord instead. Number 2. Enabling clarity in game. A quick tip, but probably done by 95% of the player base, is to go into the options and turn on fixed camera and turn off screen shake. Please, God, do this if you're playing in a tournament. White flashes are preference, but are usually also turned off. This completely gets rid of the camera heavily shaking, especially on bigger maps, and can make some high ping matches much more bearable. Number 3. Know your options. Finally, in game, we can talk about what exactly it is you can do. This game has six actions, jump, swing, spike, smash, bunt, and grab. Jump is pretty self-explanatory. Bunt is probably the most important action to understand as it significantly improves your next action. While the ball is bunted, which you can recognize by the purple aura, you can gain two bars for hitting it and it reduces hit lag immensely. Hit lag refers to the time it takes the ball to leave your swing. Swing is done by simply pressing the button with no directional input. Every character has three unique set angles that they can choose from here, referred to as up, down, and straight. You can also hold swing to charge it, resulting in a faster hit lag. Swinging in the air is easier done by holding up, which is very helpful while moving left and right. This will completely override smashing. Smashing is done by holding forward and swinging in the air. All smashes only have one unique set angle. They all share that they go downward to some degree, and it is recommended to learn to punish them by catching them with a butt, as it is a free way to regain ball control. They do have a huge hitbox though, so they can help in panic scenarios. Spiking is done by holding down and swinging in the air. Similar to swings, they have three uniquely set angles, referred to as back spike, forward spike, and, well, what the fuck do we call a straight spike? Just a spike? I guess so. Or in short, F spike and B spike. They always only give one bar of special, even if hitting a bunted ball. The last action is, number four, why grabbing is bad. Mm, debatable. Grabbing was introduced as a way to beat parries, but suffers from bad frame data and cap damage on parry grabs. It has very niche uses, such as disabling Jet's bubble or very specific timing mix-ups, but is usually a mechanic that you will not see a lot in competitive play. So if grabbing isn't the way to beat parries, what is? Here we are, number 5, spacing out parries. Lethal League Blaze has a lot of angles and memorizing them all is a tall task, but thankfully, there is a way around it. By getting as close to your opponent's parry hitbox without actually touching it, you will already do optimal coverage for most of the cast. So, whenever your opponent is stuck in a long hit lag, try to recompose yourself and get in position. This also applies to the before mentioned smashes with only one angle. Don't forget to time your bunt with a speedometer at the bottom. This is the foundation of covering and applied on even the highest level of play. It doesn't cover all angles in the game, but talking about all ways of covering would be impossible to do, and this is a good starting habit to work on. If this topic interests you more, you can check out How to Improve at Lethal League Blaze by Just Gas. Number 6. Buffering Inputs This game allows you to buffer both parries and specials. Just hold bunt during your swing animation and you will parry frame 1 that you touch the ball. The same is done by holding grab during your swing animation to use your special frame 1. This is incredibly important on characters such as Raptor or Grit that have specials that start instantly. Number 7. Wake up options. If a ball at a minimum of 32 speed hits you but doesn't kill you, it results in you getting knocked down. It's very important not to panic. You have a whole second on the ground that you are invulnerable. 
Swinging while on the ground results in a get-up attack by the community referred to as a blaze. You get a huge aura around you that if the ball is inside of it, you get to keep it for a serve. If you miss, on the other hand, your character will taunt and leave you exposed for a punish. Moving while on the ground results in a quick getup. Essentially, you just stand there without doing anything. A very risky option if the ball is bouncing around wildly, but can be used if your opponent is trying to set up a punish for your blaze. But remember, Jesus took three days to rise, so you should too. Bunting while on the ground will result in a bunt getup. You will stand up and perform a bunt. You are invincible for the entire animation, allowing you to get some crazy recoveries. This is commonly the default option on wake up and it's pretty hard to punish. Number 8. Wall and down bunts. While the ball is in a bunted state, it cannot interact with the opponent. But, if the ball touches the ground or wall, it will immediately go off. This is the fastest way to attack somebody with the ball, and it's commonly used in callout scenarios or punishes. Do you note know that the ball touching the ceiling does not trigger it. Number 9. Speed Scaling Smashes and charge swings double the ball speed, but for each consecutive hit on the ball, it gains a negative speed modifier. That speed modifier is reset by either it changing color, aka the opponent hitting it, or spike the ball where smashing and charge swings will double the speed again. A simple way to increase ball speed on round start is to start off with 2-3 smashes towards the wall and go from there. Number 10. Secret Specials Some characters have alternative ways of using their special abilities the tutorial does not mention. Grid can hold down and jump to charge his next hit. His next hit will now behave as if it was a charge swing, doubling ball speed and having very fast hit lag. This is especially deadly in combination with his spike, as it can usually not be charged and still offer 3 angle options compared to Smash's 1. Doombox can hold down and jump to use a shockwave, usually referred to as pushbox. The shockwave will hit the ball, but more importantly, push opponents in the same direction. This allows Doombox players to push the opponent into their ball, adding another layer of potential mix. The cherry on top of it is that the opponent is unable to act for a couple of frames, resulting in guaranteed death if done properly. It is usually countered by staying airborne as Doombox can only perform pushbox on the ground though. Switch can taunt in the air to throw out a hitbox below him, sending the ball instantly, 22 frames, either left or right. This is actually the main way of using Switch's ability, and it is recommended to rebind taunt to a usable button for that sole reason. There are a couple more character specific mechanics, but since they're not quintessential to their gameplay, I'll not mention them here. Bonus tip, every first Saturday of each month there is a beginner tournament hosted on the before mentioned Discord. If you are interested in competitive lethal league, then this is a great starting point. Get the NPC contestant role and hashtag roles to be notified. This about sums it up. Check out Just Gas's YouTube and Jaw Drops YouTube for high level play, or catch a Des or Gas stream on Twitch to ask any lingering questions.